Hello Sagittarius, Sun signs, rising signs and moons. This is your March Taroscope from me, Kim at Expressions of the Universe. So March is going to be a little bit crazy with the astrological aspects, starting with a Mercury retrograde in Pisces on March 5th, running through March 29th. And it's all about integrity, authenticity, our relationships, the way we communicate in our relationships, the way we communicate with ourselves. We need to take some time to reflect and contemplate and reset all of those different aspects and show up with authenticity and integrity. On March 6th, we have a new moon in Pisces. So here we have more Pisces energy coming in. It could be a very emotional time. This new moon is at 15 degrees once again. It's about loving ourselves, impeccable communication, thoughts and words. You know, the things that we say to ourselves, the things that we say to others. This is definitely mirroring the Mercury retrograde. And uh, this is also about, you know, it's netting to a six. It's about love and beauty and oneness and compassion and kindness <clears throat> excuse me and then my favorite the vernal equinox on march 20th first day of spring it's austera and we have a full super worm moon in the sign of libra at zero degrees it's about resetting our boundaries it's about putting up the line setting healthy boundaries and Libra energy is love, harmony, balance, fairness, art, beauty, but most importantly, love. And when people think about spring and love being in the air, it is all about Libra. And it, it's really interesting. I never even thought about that till just now, that everybody gets a little antsy in the spring, uh, you know, about hooking up. And so it's interesting because we always have the full moon in Libra right around the first day of spring. Now the card that I chose for the Libra sun signs, I'm sorry, the Sagittarius sun signs, rising signs and moons. Well, I got caught up in that Libra energy. Sorry about that. It is Taming the Wind. This is from the Colette Baron Reed mystical shaman oracle deck and this is also going to be my card on my website facebook and instagram for tomorrow depending on when you see this but taming the wind is saying it's definitely air energy so that mercury retrograde is really making me feel about uh feel the energy from taming the wind it's chaos and craziness that could be blowing around you and then you got to come in suck it in and control and tame that wind the wind is represented by our thoughts and our words so this mercury retrograde with me choosing this card for you is really kind of crazy because this is asking you to sit in contemplation it's about being impeccable with your words and your thoughts because thoughts become things. So what is it that is showing up in your life that you're really not looking? And then take a look back and see how you talk to yourself. If you want to manifest something fantastic, you need to change the conversations that you're having with yourself. Just know that anything is possible, Sagittarius, sun signs, rising signs, and moons. And you can create your reality by just changing your thoughts, changing the words that you speak. So I hope you liked this video. Please share it with your friends. Comment me. Give me a like. Subscribe. Be sure to check out my blog at expressionsoftheuniverse.com. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. And if you didn't know it already, I am having a March Madness sale. I am an absolute lunatic. But they say some of the best people are. It is more than 50% off of a 30-minute live reading that is recorded for you. So go ahead and take advantage of that this month. And until next time, peace and blessings, Sagittarians.
I'll see you in April.